Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station. And today, well, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. As many of you know, I'm not much of an opinion guy, but I think that I should give my opinion on this topic because I actually come from a different position than you guys. So, as you guys know, I'm a Sonic fan. I mean, quite obvious since I'm a Sonic tuber, but one thing that's really curious is that I did not buy Sonic Colors Ultimate. It doesn't matter the reasons for that, but I chose not to buy the game. And so, I think that it's quite interesting giving my opinion about this game. My honest opinion. You guys know, whatever the title is. So, um... One thing that's important that I want to state is that I played Sonic Colors Ultimate, I did not complete it, not even close. I played it through two ways, I played a review copy for the PS4, it came out from a friend, however I did not play much since his job is to review the game and I did not want to bother him. And I played through Parsec with one of my friends, Sonic Retrofan. By the way, thank you very much for allowing me to test out a little bit more of Sonic Colors Ultimate Friend. And despite our connection not being that perfect, I think it got me a good hang of the game, if we can say that. So, what's my opinion about Sonic Colors Ultimate? It's quite simple, I think it is a good game but a bad port or a poor made remaster and I'm going to explain that. So first of all, I don't want to make this a review about Sonic Colors but I will give my honest opinion. I think it is a good game. It's um, one of those games that I think that were good for the Nintendo Wii. Not the best ones in terms of Sonic games. Things that alienated me from the franchise at this time were of course the new writing style i think the story is still as alienating as it has been 11 years ago uh the change in dubs uh, at first i did not like rogers craig smith sonic voice i thought it was too big of a jump however i must confess and i don't have any problems with that with more and more years uh, i i've been Kind of more appreciative about his work while I don't think it's the best Sonic voice I really like the way he interacts with the community and I really like the effort he puts in making all sorts of Sonic things I think he shined the most in Sonic Boom at least for me and I really uh, wish him the best and that's basically it so I kind of grew a lot in towards liking his voice and another thing, um, after the, the whole dub changes and everything, it's the introduction of Wisps. I must confess, at first I did not like that much these kinds of creatures, however I think the introduction was actually really good in terms of uh, this game, and I feel like the Wisps fit, fit in the context of Sonic Colors. So, uh, speaking of that, I think that the game is a good game, in terms of gameplay, uh, maybe a bit inferior to Sonic Unleashed in some regards, which I'm going to speak about, but in terms of other things, it's a good game, so I think it's really unfair calling Sonic Colors Ultimate a bad game, because the foundation of Sonic Colors Ultimate, Sonic Colors, is actually a good game, at least in my eyes. Now, speaking of the port remake of Sonic Colors, Sonic Colors Ultimate. If I'm not mistaken, it was made by Blind Squirrel Entertainment, and I must confess that I think it's in some ways a good port and in others a bad port, and I'm going to explain. In terms of new features in the game, uh, I think that one is really game-changing, which is the Omega attack uh, recovering boost if you hit it at the right time, and it gives you a... Uh, a rainbow aura I think it's really cool because it actually makes uh, one of Sonic moves the homing attack which many think it's just a spamming move now more related to improving your gameplay style and more rewarding I think it's a really nice idea since I don't really appreciate 
you only being able to boost when you collect wisps and I think this is a really nice addition that should be in more Sonic games. Now another thing, it's the introduction of uh, bar tokens, I think it's really nice since it connects to a customization menu, while I think the customization is not the greatest one, I mean you can't really give Sonic a new outfit, but you can change the colors of the shoes and the gloves, and more importantly the part that I really appreciate is the addition of new auras and boosts, I think it's really cool to play with that. I think it's a neat feature that should be in. Now in terms of more additions we have a new Wisp that comes from Team Sonic Racing which is the Jade Wisp or the Jade Ghost Wisp. I think it um, in some ways it feels like it was never in the game but it was never in the game and it is a nice addition. Not many crazy things is done with this but at least still it allows you to explore more the game which I think it's really important and kind of connects with the idea of the park tokens and the customization. It allows you to keep playing the game for a little longer and to make this experience at least a little bit better towards new players. Now in terms of other modes we have the Rival Rush mode which are races against Metal Sonic. Many don't like this mode, I understand why, but I actually feel like it was a neat addition. Metal Sonic coming to Sonic Colors, I think it's really appropriate and I kind of like the way that it connects a little bit to that era in which um, Sonic 4 was being made, if I'm not mistaken. It kind of connects to episode 2 and I think it's a really nice nod, so I think having Metal Sonic is actually quite cool and it's a way of you replaying the level, so yeah, it's a nice addition, at least in my book. Another addition is, of course, Tail Save, and Tail Save, well... It was not a thing that I enjoyed because it removed, it removed the life system, but I think it's not that game changing, so it helps you out, okay, it makes the game easier, I understand, but it's not something that really bothers me, okay, it's a nice way of putting tails in the game, and when you get 100 rings, you get the invisibility, I actually like the idea of having a bonus with uh, getting a hundred rings, I would say to maybe give it a shield or something that is less overpowered, but I don't think that power up is in Sonic Colors, so yeah, it was a nice choice. Uh, last addition that we have is, no, last two additions, is a new controlling scheme. I like the idea of you being able to uh, switch your controls, but more on that later. And of course, it is the addition of new music remixes. And okay, personally, they did not click that much with me, but I think it's a nice addition. It was something that was not needed, but it's really cool to being able to listen to another song in another perspective. Now, in terms of things until now, Sonic Colors Ultimate seems quite a really good game, but it is not the best one in terms of porting, and now we are going to talk about that. So, one thing that I did not mention was that the game was improved, 60 FPS, new visuals that no matter what anyone says look gorgeous, and that's the truth. However, uh, these kinds of improvements were not made to the cutscenes. The cutscenes were AI scaled and it looks a bit jarring seeing the differences. And one of the things that I really don't like is that the, all the required information for the cutscenes were found inside the game. So I think Blind Squirrel Entertainment were just like, ah, let's say I scale this and it will be enough. And it kind of looks a bit jarring. We have a lot of uh, things that in terms of the 60 FPS were not fixed. I mean, we have some animations that are still 30 FPS, which looks a bit weird, to be honest. Uh, things that I think that are really strange, having the music and the sound effects in a point in option, which is okay, it's really weird, but um, it kinda 
gives you some problems because sometimes the sound effects are too loud, other times they are not loud, and that really makes me angry. The fact that we have a controller scheme and you cannot give the sidestep to the all L1 and R1 buttons, for me, that's really a, a good scene for this game. I don't see why the sidestep has been like that for many other games and now we have different controllers that can support that option, but okay. Um, the fact that there are there is no option to change the music and the remixes, I think this is really weird and I'm going to explain why. Because you only get the Planet Wisp remix if you uh, bought the Digital Deluxe Edition. It's just super weird. I mean... You will never be able to play that if you have not bought the Digital Deluxe Edition and you cannot change the music. Like, why? I mean, just a simple option. You could choose to, if you wanted to activate the remixes or not. And maybe choose if you wanted in the first three acts, like it is now in the current game, or in the last three acts. I think that would be a really simple option that will benefit. Another thing that many have been saying that is kind of uh, jarring is the fact that cutscenes, if you want to watch them again, they play on a small uh, square or rectangle and it's just weird, okay? I mean, I wanted to see them full screen like the first time, but that's what it is. And finally, we have to talk about the glitches. And oh boy, the glitches. I will be honest, I found some, not that many. But, okay, in terms of visuals, it can happen, it seems more or less like Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in those regards. But in terms of music, oh boy, oh boy. I tried using Super Sonic uh, three times, and only at the third time did I listen to the music. I actually asked my friend if he had disabled the so Super Sonic music, because I thought that was an option, but apparently not. Then you have musics that music that don't play. You have uh, you have times that it cuts out for some reason. Uh, you think and sound effects not playing. Like I think that glitches, visual glitches, okay, uh, it can happen, and I hope that they get fixed. But music glitches, really. And I know that Katie, at the time of uh, that I'm recording this, which is the actual release date, it is September 7th, so I had some days to test out the game. I know that Katie already said that a uh, patch is going to be worked on to solve many of these glitches, but still, releasing the game because it was released before for those who pre-ordered at September 3rd and having these glitches... It's not a good practice from Blind Squirrel Entertainment. And then there's another thing that I want to approach, that it's kinda weird because there were features that were cut and they, are, they have their information still placed in many websites, just like the supposed online multiplayer mode, a ghost race mode, and there's info in the game that Metal Sonic would be playable. Why is Metal Sonic not playable in this game? I mean, he uses the same animations as Super Sonic, so it was the right opportunity, and I think that would make such a difference in, in this game. Uh, but whatever, uh, it is what it is. And now my overall opinion about Sonic Colors Ultimate is that it is... Um, good game, uh, the overall foundation, you won't find anything that much different from Sonic Colors, just the additions that I mentioned, and that's a good game if you have never played on the uh, Nintendo Wii, you can play now on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Switch, uh, and of course PC through the Epic Game Store, so that's a thing. Oh, I think that's really important, it made the game more available, at least that. However, there are these things that I mentioned in terms of port that I think that are not acceptable. It's not acceptable releasing a game that has visual bugs that may cause epilepsy no matter what 
it has been a lot of debate recently in the Sonic community if these are caused through emulation or not. Uh, I saw footage of, um, of glitches happening on a real switch and anything that causes you seizures should be fixed of course. So I think that's not an excuse. Having music glitches is not an excuse, I'm sorry. Not playing the supersonic theme two times, it's not a thing. I think that's unacceptable in terms of porting. And overall, I think that the main problem is with the porting side. Now, in terms of this, I think that if you have never played Sonic Colors, you should try out Sonic Colors Ultimate still. Maybe it will be more widely available for you and other means so I will say to still give it a go I hope really hope that Sega uh, provides or uh, Blind Squirrel Entertainment I don't know who manages what but I hope that a patch is provided to this game I think it's really needed and I will really want to see that uh, maybe some of the things that I found jarring can be added to the game I don't know Maybe they won't be, but I thought it was interesting to approach this topic. And now my overall thoughts is that it is a good game and you should buy it if you have not played Sonic Colors uh, ever before. So yeah, and if you have played Sonic Colors, uh, maybe you have played almost everything. If you want to try out the new editions, buy Sonic Colors Ultimate. If not, maybe you can skip on this version. I don't know, I don't play with people's wallets, so I can't really say much about that. And that's basically my main idea. Now, one thing that I want to finalize mentioning in this video is that there has been a lot of negative feedback. I think that we should wait a little bit for that, but if I have to be honest, I, I've become a little bit disappointed with the practices that have happened on this 30th anniversary. I mean, it, Sonic makes 30 years, we have uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate and things did not look that great in terms of a port. Maybe this was a low budget port, but still, I think that things could have looked much better and should have looked much better. And that kind of gives me how do I say, um, it kind of makes me uncertain about the future of Sonic the Hedgehog as a franchise. However, let's not panic about it. Let's hope that the 2022 game that is going to come out, I hopefully really soon, will be better, at least in this one. And that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys.